Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Friday, fam bam. Happy Friday, <laughs> whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. Guys, I am coming with an important word that God has been speaking about a lot. Uh, he's warned us of this in the past and he is still speaking about it. And as always, guys, before I deliver the message, make sure that you're taking any message that I give you or any other servant of God gives you back to God in prayer for confirmation. All right. Also, remember, I'm going to continue to encourage you that you develop your own intimate relationship with God. OK, he desires a relationship with you over any and everything else. Make sure you're taking the time to recognize the voice of God for yourselves, but that you're sitting with him and you're, you know, developing that relationship with him that he desires with you. OK, so I'm going to continue to encourage it. I usually tell you, you know, as always, not every word for every person, but this word is for us all, the body of Christ, okay? But if you see me look down, guys, I'm just looking at my notes, okay? God is saying, guys, in this hour, make sure that you're paying attention and you're being very intentional who you're listening to and what you're listening to. You can't allow, you and I can't allow every, any and everything in our ear gates, okay? And also what we watch, because that goes into our spirit, all right? And you start inviting, you know, inviting different spirits in by different things you watch, by different things you, you know, you listen to. But God was stating, guys, to make sure that you're watching what you're listening to and also what you're watching do not listen be very intentional and he he was stressing so much about this in my prayer time make sure that you're being very intentional not to listen to so many voices not so many voices on social media on here not so many voices you know um just in ministry period don't listen to so many voices okay keep your your focus on god keep your focus on getting to know god for yourselves okay so you will not be easily deceived this is the end times where there is a lot of deception god has stated that and has warned us over and over in his word about the deception increasing in the end times and god is stating guys you and i have to watch and be very intentional who we listen to. So don't allow so many spirits, um, you know, so many voices in your ear. And you're watching a whole lot of prophetic words or you're watching a whole lot of ministries. And it's okay to listen if God is leading you to listen to that person. I always say that whatever ministry God wants you in, he will lead you and guide you to that person. I've said it from day one, wherever God places you and guides you, but you have to allow God, the spirit of God, God to lead you to that ministry. But don't allow so many voices to come in. Study for yourself, spending time with God, spending time in your word so you will not be so easily deceived and you can know what is true and what is not true and you won't be so easily deceived by other people's words and opinions okay so make sure he he has been talking about it a lot about uh false prophets about ministries that are uh from different pastors that he did not call and, and i've delivered so many of those words uh where god has been stating you know some ministries he did not call that person to do whether it's prophecy whether it's preaching whether it's teaching that's why you have to have that relationship and and do what god calls you to do and not what you think god calls you to do but have that relationship and know what god is speaking in that hour okay but god is really stating guys that you and i have to watch what we're listening to because they are 
wolves in sheep's clothing out there guys and it's a lot of greed uh it's a lot of false information it's a lot of show it's a lot of uh theatrics that are out there and god wants you to be on meat he wants you and i to be on meat right now and that is the word of god okay um there are spirits out there and that's the second thing that uh god was speaking about guys is that you know, people operate from different spirits. Um, you know, you can operate from the spirit of God and allow God to flow and you're working for God and doing what God, but you also can have the spirit of darkness where you're working for the enemy and you're doing what he wants you to do. And God was saying that there are people that are trying to follow him and also trying to follow new age. Light and darkness cannot mix. You're going to have to choose one or the other. You can't say you're rolling with God, but you also trying to do tarot cards or horoscopes or, you know, all of this other, these other things. You can't dibble and dabble and think you're going to, you know, be with God. No. You're going to have to choose light and dark because light or dark because they can't mix. They can't mix. So you're going to have to decide which, you know, who you're going to serve. It's only one true God and you're going to have to, 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 to decide who you're going to serve. And when we have these type of gifts, um, I'll share something with you. I know when I first surrendered to God. And I can remember it like it was yesterday. I was in my prayer time and I re remember just on my knees, just praying. And I'm a baby Christian back then and I'm praying. And you know, when you're a baby Christian and you finally surrender to God, he, he, he speaks a lot because he's getting you trained to hear his voice. He's getting you trained, you know, to recognize his voice. And he, he speaks uh, so much and one of the things that he spoke then was to, um, he spoke to me then was, you have a gift and I've given you a gift. Use it for good. And I was a baby Christian back then. So I was like, you know, I had to pray about it. And it's spirits and God broke it down to me. You have a gift. I've given you this gift. Don't use it for bad use it for good use it for me and even though god knew my heart and he knew how much i loved him it's very easy in this world to get deceived and you think oh it's okay to do this or oh it's okay to do that and god wanted to tell me then as i'm telling you you know use that the, the gifts and the talents for god and that is something that you know, he told me back then, you know, use your gift for good because you can be easily deceived by the enemy and he gets you to use it his way. And, uh, you know, that that's be just because just like we're listening to God and we're following Jesus, they're following the voice of the enemy. They're following, you know, the things of darkness. So they're using their gifts, the, the, you know, for evil. So you have to, um, you have to be really mindful, guys, of what you're listening to, what you're taking in, what you're watching. And in this time and day, there is going to be much more deception. This is just the beginning. There's going to be so much more deception and you and I have to be in the presence of God. This right here, the Bible, this is our safeguard against deception. So you can't be deceived. That's our safeguard against deception, knowing God's word for ourselves, being in the presence of God for ourselves. That is how we know, okay, that doesn't sound like God or no, you know, God didn't say that and you don't allow that spirit of confusion in. But God was really speaking, guys, about um, just about, um, you know, not being thinking you're going to walk with him and also dibble and dabble in new age stuff and things that is not of him you you can't you can't serve two masters you can't serve two masters so you you have to choose who you're going to serve okay 
So he was really talking about that and he's been speaking it more and more in my prayer time. And I've been telling you guys more than ever, this is the time to get in your word, in your presence. There are things that are approaching and I'm, we're going to talk about that next week that we need to be in the presence of God and have our focus on him. So don't get in the habit of listening to too many voices on this YouTube. You need to turn me off, turn me off. I've said it a thousand times. Turn off and sit with God and listen what God is speaking for yourselves, okay? It's going to be very important, guys. It's going to be very important from this day forward that you are sitting with God, you are focusing on God, and you are getting to hear the voice of God for yourselves. There are different, you know, people are operating from different spirits, and everybody is not operating from the Spirit of God, okay? I wanted to read, he led me to, uh, I'm reading from the NIV version, 1 John 4. It's, it reads, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ have come in flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have already heard is coming. And even now, he is already in the world. So God tells you, and he tells me, that there are false prophets that are going to go out, guys. There are false prophets that are out there that are twisting the word of God for their selves, for their own uh, agendas, but and to deceive the children of God. And for us to be on top of our relationship with God, for us to know what God is saying, his word, his truth, his characteristics, you and I have to remain in his word and in his presence, okay? So I just, you know, God, he, he's really been really speaking a lot about it more and more. So I just want, you know, to warn you guys, please show yourselves approved and be in your own word and be, you know, get to know God for yourselves. Okay. And turn off the noise, turn off music that, you know, uh, there's spirits behind it. Turn off things on the television that the spirits are behind it in this hour we have to watch especially our children our ear gates our eye gates our, our our spirit from things that are not of God okay so I just wanted to come and give you that guys that word really quickly because God has he's, he's been study speaking it and you know I just don't want people to get deceived you know this is the time that we all need to be close to God all right so guys that is the word today keep shining guys keep being the light because you are absolutely the light keep being kind and compassionate and loving towards one another don't conform to this world God guys or the wicked agendas of it okay don't allow them to divide us, but let's keep walking in unity. Let's love each other, show compassion, and just keep being kind to one another, okay? Uh, also, guys, thank you for each and every one of you so much for every person who have sown into the ministry. I, pr I thank you. I'm grateful, and I pray that God blesses your seed a hundredfold. I thank uh, each and every person who has... Uh, sent an email who has sent a message on social media uh your support your love thank you guys again um for just being the family that i never thought knew i i needed but thank you guys thank you i just wanted to take the time to say thank you all right so guys have a great weekend have a safe weekend uh know that god loves you unconditionally i love you if it's by the will of God, I will see you guys next next time, okay? And take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.